We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well, so we've got so much to bring to you at Hachanda. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. On the Dreamy Shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Make sure you join us for the Dreamy Shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town. And it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Gym Pull Shows on Achanda and have some fun. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty Shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. 
Good morning, you. Welcome to a brand new day here at Ho Chanda. We have got a very, very busy day for you. Uh, there is lots to come. I tell you what, we have got the best start to the day uh, because we are looking at fantastic inks. And if inks that you've been looking, that all of our demonstrators, lots of different guests from lots of different companies, all seem to use the same type of inks, don't they? You hear the names and you think, oh, now which ones do I need to buy? Which one is for this and which one is for that? And that's what this show is all about because we are looking at the very, very talented Sukaniko, which we now know means Moon Cat. That's what that translates to in Japanese, don't you know? Well, they are the makers of, and you'll know these names straight away, Stays On, Versifying, and Memento. Memento, that's the other one I was thinking of as well. Now, to guide us through what can sometimes be a bit of a maze when it comes to ink is our gorgeous ray of sunshine herself. Oh. It's Paula. Isn't Paula it? Paula. <laughs> Paula? Why did I say Paula? I love it. How I long love have it. I known you? You can call me anything you want. I will How long have we known each you. other? Um, yeah, it's, anyway, you can call me Paula Paula or Paulita Paola, Paola, or you know, whatever. Right, now listen, when it comes to inks, you yes. know that I'm, I'm now Baby Steps Crafter. You are. And I know every time I watch shows and I'm standing next to a guest, they have their go-to inks, and quite often they are the ones that are in front Indeed. of us. Indeed. Now, Sukuniko is a company, a uh, Japanese company, uh, and they have been manufacturing inks for the calligraphy world in Japan since the 1950s. Then they were the first company in the 1980s to introduce pigment ink, and we will talk about what is that pigment and dye. And so they have a revolutionary. They are the manufacturers of Versafine, Versafine mm -hmm. Claire, mm -hmm. Stazon, Memento, Brilliance, Bursamark, all those ink pads that when you came in you said oh I didn't realize that there was all manufactured trademark yeah. you thought they were standard it, it was the first question I had to ask Paola this morning was right so these are all brand names to this company um, because you hear them talked about so much stays on and versa uh, versifying you yeah. you hear everyone and, and I thought maybe this was just this company's version of a versifying but this is Versafine. This is it. Uh, this is, they are the inks. Um, very much uh, they have been copied and they have been, you know, kind of inspired, all the companies have been inspired. However, as a crafter myself, and I was saying this uh, before, I have bought every single ink pad that we have got on the show, um, except the, you know, the stays on pigment, which is to me new. Yeah. Uh, everything else I have personally as a crafter bought because I love them. I've seen the likes of Julie Hickey years gone by, mm. um, you know, Know, you know, Marion Emerson using these inks, in the, and then they inspire me to use them, and they are my go to inks. I'm not surprised, and, and, and I know I need to be buying from this show myself as well. Let's start with probably something that every single viewer to Ho Chanda that crafts needs to have, because if you're taking, like me, uh, maybe you've been to craft stores and you've just grabbed the first thing off the shelf and it's not really giving you the performance that you think, well, hang on a second, why when I watch all those people on TV do their, their results look so good? Their, their stamping looks so crisp first time. What is it that they're doing right that I'm doing Absolutely. wrong? And it's not that, it's the ink, isn't it? Uh, a lot of the time it is indeed the ink. So here is, to me, if I had to choose what to take a desert island, this would be it. Why? You are getting a stays on, which is a permanent ink black. Uh, then you are on some mixed media and we will talk all the surfaces. Memento, which is a water base, but permanent black, perfect for your alcohol markers. Then you are getting your Versafine. Now, this is the Versafine that is the Sarti the pigment, but it's oil based, so you can color with your watercolors, but also it gives you such a sharp black. And finally, we have added, and I requested to add Versamark. The reason being because Versamark is a water. Um, kind of a watermark effect ink, but also is, in my opinion, one of the best embossing inks that you can have. So it, to me, this is, with those four one, I can do, I know that all my different techniques, uh, you know, all my go-to techniques are covered here. So here's a, here's a little explanation um, of all four of the inks here. And it's almost like, I mean, I, I don't really want to call it kind of trial sizes or sample sizes, but for 9 dollars you are going to get 
Uh, they are very juicy ink pads anyway, they aren't are, they? Uh, so yeah, a little secret, for instance, I like to have always a smaller size as well as larger sizes. Yeah. One of the reasons is because it's more convenient. Sometimes you can have them on the on the work surface without mm -hmm. taking. Mm -hmm. But uh, like you were pointing, yes, they are a small in size, but you can see the pad is raised. So even the largest stamp, you can you can ink it however large you want to because it doesn't have ridges. So you can just dab it on. Ah, the largest size ink and it pad. keeps you away from the ink as well, Absolutely. doesn't it? When you're, when you're, yeah. da that's the technique, Indeed, isn't it? Yeah. The dabbing technique. Dabbing. <laughs> you learn it. The, the tapping dab. technique, uh, which is brilliant. Um, okay, now at nine ninety nine, if you've you've heard all of these names a hundred times over, here is your chance to try them all out. Paula will go through as well, step by step, the difference between those inks what they will do, how they will perform, what's the best way of using them, what do you use them with, what surfaces do they go on. 058739, over 10% of that stock has already sold out and gone. And I'll tell you why, it's just 9.99. Quite often, um, I've been into craft stores, not even looked at the names when I was, before I came back here, like I was baby steps crafting, and I was just going into craft stores, and I was just grabbing it. I didn't know I, pigment. I don't know what that mean, meant. I didn't know what quick, quick drying really meant. I, I, I didn't know what any of these things meant, so I just grabbed the first thing that was there, and actually, even something that kind of size could have been the best part of what we've got there price-wise in the bundle, which is good. Okay, larger sizes now. So for those people who are familiar, this is like refreshing your memory, this show, actually, because it's a great educational, but also it's about refreshing your memory and stocking up on your inks as well. So what have, we've got the largest sizes here of... Different, uh, instead of Versamark, you are getting brilliant. So okay. you are getting Versafine Claire, which is slightly different to the original Versafine, which is the one that you are getting in the smaller pad. That's ha the one a lot of, a yes. lot of our um, guests use. Absolutely. Isn't it? So yeah. the main difference, I mean, it's the same sort of formulation, but they change the pad a little bit. So you are getting a finer detail, even that. Okay. Uh, I mean, personally, I love them both. There is a tiny, tiny, minute difference, which is, you know, like to me personally, I reach more for the Versafine Claire, but that's because of the pad. Then you are getting brilliance. Brilliance to me, and I will go for, um, it, it, you know, why I like it so much. Um, it's, it's a pigment pad, but it dries really well uh, and it's naturally onto vellum and parchment. Ah, uh, okay. So whether if you want some sharp black, and this yes. is because of the pigment that dries on parchment. So if you like your, you know, your ruby, this is gonna gonna really work in it as well. Now we have got a different uh, elements as well. Now we will have we have got other brilliance inks as well in the show, which can mm -hmm. show how it works on parchment as uh -huh. well. But the, the also the in this one. You have got the memento large one and the stays on black uh, large one as well. So are we getting? Sorry, can I just uh, make yeah. uh, make sure I've got this correct? All four of these ink pads we're getting in yes. this one item number here Absolutely. for that price tag. Yes. See, that's amazing. Again, going back to the craft store situation, I've picked up an ink pad. I, I don't even know what the brand was to be honest. I've got it at home. Yeah. Um, but I know you know when you try an ink pad and you think, I'm not sure if I it, it, is it is it me that's wrong or is it yeah. is it the ink pad that's wrong? I don't know. This is why I need a show like this. Um, but actually, something like that, eight or nine pounds, yeah. very, very easily Absolutely. for one pad. And, and the, the, to me, the thing is that you are getting all four blacks that to, it stays on for your uh, non porous surfaces, your acetate, your, your glass. You have got the memento for your alcohol markers. Mm -hmm. You have got your Versafine Claire to color in with your, uh, your of course, your gorgeous um, uh, water-based inks. Mm -hmm. You have got, memento, this is color in with alcohol markers. It does not bleed. You you have got a stays on which you can stamp beautifully onto uh, acrylic paints because acrylic paints is non porous. Ah, Where okay. the Versafine clay will eventually dry on acrylics, but can you see there is a smudges at the bottom? Ah. That's because it takes so much longer to dry. Right. So hence why both of them will work on acrylic mm -hmm. ha paint, however, one of them will dry quicker. Oh, and, and that's brilliant. Oh, yeah. Look, and being able to, to print onto and to stamp onto vellum without that long wait and without that, I guess, 
going in and and Absolutely. permeating the belly. Absolutely, because pigment uh, is much more opaque, it's a little bit more omad, it just adds that really rich effect as well. Okay, again, we're going to go through the explanations of these different inks as well, but I would, if you're restocking, that's a brilliant one, isn't it? I mean, 17 99 is getting you all four of those ink pads as well, which is brilliant. Um, they are the go-to, you know. How many guests, how many shows have you seen when they're doing some stamping they, they tend to always go for, I hear this talked about so often here at Hochanda, versifying, Claire, everyone says, reaches for the versifying for their stamping. 10% um, of that stock gone already as well. 267069 is your item number for that one at 17.99. Right, now we're going to pigment inks. Now, pigment inks is, is pigment, the essence of a pigment ink and its plus points, is it all about intensity or is yes. about texture or what is well, it? Well, we will talk about that okay. in more detail, but it, you are exactly in the right path. Pigment is opaque and of course you, uh, but you have got a stage on which means that this is pigment but solvent based, which means that it will dry on glossy surfaces, which until ah, this, okay. it was either dye, 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 uh, you know, dye based oh, solvent. Oh, that's what this is then? So yes. that's on a, on a on an acetate. Though, acetate, is it? a domino, a b acrylic button. Okay, uh, so you can stamp from the. You know, it, there's so many possible. So does that dry quite quickly then? It for. Uh, I mean, it dries quick uh, or how is it slower than a regular stays on yeah. but quicker than any other ink. But, what, uh, but once it's on, it's on. So I'm not going to be yeah. able to rub no, that no, off. No. It's the season. I mean, you so could good, wipe it? it up with a clean solvent cleaner. Yeah, of course. But, yeah. you know, you wouldn't yeah. want to do that. And, and but at the end of the day, mistake. if I make a card and, yes. and stamp onto acetate, that card standing will be fine. Absolutely. It will still have its colour when you take it out of the envelope. That's, yep. that's all I need to know. So let's see what we've got in this then, because we, we appear to have that. So four different colours then. Um, in this for twenty one ninety nine, and again they're big, big, juicy ink pads. Again, you can see how raised the pad is on yes. there, um, and it's beautiful. It's it's really, I mean, it's so so beautiful, isn't it? In terms of that intensity of colour, awesome. and that's what pigment ink does give you. So you've got the four colours there. You've got lemon drop, peacock feathers, shamrock green, and passion red. Oh, I like it. Yeah, passion red. Well, it's nearly Valentine's Day, isn't it? Oh, Need it a does. bit of passion red in your life there. Oh, look at that. Oh, nearly. Well, I love it that you are getting a blue, even though it's a kind of a tealy blue, but you are getting a yellow and a red, so the yes. primary All colours primary are colours. there. And then you have got the green, of course, for a good measure for Christmas as well as, as a spring. Yes, and I, and I guess with the pigment ink then, can you still put those down on your mat and mix them together to make new colours? Well, not really, not? but we will go through that okay. as well. See, so much to learn. Um, any questions you've got, by the way, because you might be thinking, oh, he's asking the questions that I would, but if you've got a question that I haven't asked Paola yet about inks, use this hour as a way of doing that. We are on Facebook Live now, I believe. We are. So you can put in your, um, your uh, questions through there. But the quick, best way of doing it is straight through to producer Meg in the gallery. So studio at hochanda.com. So if you've got any, any ink pad questions, use this hour as a little bit of a a helpline, if you like, direct to Hochanda. Because while we've got the best in the house, Paula included, of course, let's make the most of it. Right, All OK, right. straight to you, darling so girl. we are going to do the same thing that I have done in the previous shows, but I just want to, because I know you are a, 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 you know, a beginner crafter, yes. and I know many people tune in. So the first thing I'm going to show is to show the difference between pigment and dye. Right. right. So pigment and dye. Uh, now here I have got, and you're thinking, why is she doing this? I just wanted to make sure that you that we establish the facts about pigment and and, and dye. Yeah, because it's now, important. It is important. I have got distress uh, reinkers here because I thought this is what everybody knows about the distress inks. There is traditional distress, and then we have got the oxides. So that the oxides we know they have got pigment, and the distress traditionally is a dye base. It's exactly the same color, broken china. And I have got put some water into these little compartments here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a droplet of the distress here. And then I'm going to take a droplet of the oxide. Now I'm shaking automatically. You can see here a ball bearing. Yeah. That's because pigment is like dust so that it settles. settles. Right. So it's opaque yeah. as well. So you will see now when I do a little droplet here, it's the same color, but it's slightly different, isn't it? So we are going to do, I'm going to just blend them in. OK. And can you see? That's opaque. Oh, OK. And that 
it's transparent. You can see behind it. Can right. you see the lines yes. in there? Yeah. So that means that we have got, I'm going to just tilt it a little bit, so yeah. you can see the, the same colour, yeah. but that's okay. That's the pigment, that's the dye. Okay? Okay. So we have established right now... So dye the, is changing the colour of the, the water. of the water, and the, and the pigment, pigment is is like a complete formula, if you Absolutely. like, I suppose. Absolutely. Well, if you think about it, it's like, imagine that you have got a smoothie, an yes. apple juice. Yes. So basically, an apple, uh, you know, the, the juice uh, is kind of, kind of, has got a little bit of colour. Yeah. If you drop it, it kind of penetrates to the fibres. Yes. But the smoothie has got all the, those, those, those amazing kind of bits. Yeah. That's the difference. Okay. And that's important because we will say, because that texture that you spoke of is because it's pigment. Right. So it has got that texture where the dye penetrates, uh, so right. it has got yes. that texture. Yeah, yeah. Right, so all the boards will be out on my, uh, they will be in my Facebook as well as on my blog, which is blog.paulapasqual.com. Uh, right, so you can see here, so we have established the pigment uh, and the dye. Now, if you think about it, because you have got all that dust, it's a slower drying because it has to hold on to, whether the dye penetrates the fibres yep. and it's a faster drying. Yes. Okay? Yes, I get it, yes. Yeah, it's just it's a kind of thing. So, of course, then we have got another thing. Because that's pigment and dye, but then we have got things like solvent, oil, and water. Now, I must admit, I've never heard of oil being part of an ink. Well, there are. Think about oil paint. Of course. So that's how it happens as well yeah. on twing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another thing to just explain. And again, I'm putting water here. The importance of understanding why we need to have different types of solvent and oil and water. Mm -hmm. I have got water here, and this is a stay it's on reinker. All right. Now, I, it's hard to see it there, but you can see how the stays on is breaking up. Right, yes. Yeah. It does not dissolve, it's just breaking out. Yes. That's because neither oil, well, I mean, or alcohol will dissolve in water. Yes. That's important. Why? Yeah. Because when we go to color in with our water base, yeah. what we want is something that is not going to dissolve, that is not going to blend. Yes. Yes. So this is why it's important to understand solvent oil and water, mm -hmm. because if we want something that is water-based, so, so for instance, our Phil Martin water-based pens, yeah. what we want is something that is not water-based. Yes, so that uh, one doesn't bleed into exactly. the other. Exactly. It doesn't blur the lines. Absolutely. Right, okay. The right. same way, if we want alcohol markers, we then wouldn't want solvent or alcohol. We need a water-based. Exactly. Because that almost, they're almost sort of barriers against Absolutely. each other. Absolutely. Get it? See, it, it's the simplest thing sometimes, isn't it? You just think, actually, when someone explains it like that, you think, right, get it now. Yeah. Get I'm it. Sorry. That's uh, that's all I needed to know. Now, also, the other things that we need to think of, alcohol, think about alcohol in a party evaporates very quickly, doesn't it? It does. The same thing happens with inks. It evaporates very quickly. So it's a fast drying ink. Uh, okay, so an alcohol-based ink, ink will is one for crisp stamping, to dry, dry quickly absolutely and then you can watercolor into Perfect. it if you want to if you want to or it's a or mixed media it. yeah or just leave but it if you want if you're doing a lot of yeah. stamping you've absolutely. got a lot to do then actually an alcohol based ink is good for that absolutely oh, okay and then oil based uh, it, it depends the oil base is like you know certain oils that they you know they say well for a long time or some yeah. of them they kind of they, you know stick in three so this is other things that you need to know that's the kind of important uh, elements into it now that we have established what we need it and then this is the board in which again you can download and you which you have got what we call it so we have got a stays on which is a solvent dye base but then we have got stays on pigment which is solvent based but it's pigment okay right now that we all need this board in our life don't yeah. we because actually this is the one that says to you I watched that show with Paula but now I've, I know I know because I keep hearing all these names for all the guests that come yeah. on uh, most of them use versifying Claire that seems to come up in conversation so much doesn't it um, with all the guests but 
Uh, brilliant. Now, which one was Absol that one? Was that, was that water or was yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. We so need this, this board in our yeah. life. And then, of course, I have got done also this board. And I know it's, this is a lot of information, but you can download it, which is like kind of just a basic one. So what alcohol markers in Memento? Water markers you can use Versafine or Stazone. Uh, you can use uh, Numpers as well. I put our archival as well because I wanted to make sure that UP had, um, although it's a Ranger Inc., you can also have it. And you can have I, got Can this. I just ask a silly question? Yeah. The word archival comes up a lot in ink, and I have no idea what it means. Is it just that this is, this is, my mind's eye wants to say, good, long-lasting, and something you use for albums and things that you'll be looking back at in 30 years' Perfect. time? That's exactly what it is. Archival means that it's not going to deteriorate with uh, with lo with light or uh, acid or you know just the things that happen in real life. Right. Uh, you know the life you know time. Uh, all the ink pads from uh, you know um, Sukiniko are archival, so they are safekeeping. They are designed so it will stand. And even Memento, which is a dye base, water base, which mm -hmm. tend to you know fade away, it yeah. is fade resistant, so it should hold. And I have got some samples there from with memento, with colour, that I did about six years ago, and the colour still stands. Wonderful. Yeah. Right, so we have got another thing that I wanted to show you, and this is a new board that I have done. And this is to do go for the set of uh, four inks, uh, the details on the left-hand side of the okay. screen. Okay, yeah. Uh, now, you can see in brilliance. Now, you can see here, and if you can want to download and print it, that would be perfect for you. You can see, for instance, brilliance in here, how it's not a good coloring in. However, it's the best one for stenciling, especially onto wood. It really works, but also works really well onto jelly plates. Ah, okay. It's one of the best ones for jelly plates. And they're big, big surfaces, aren't they, Absolutely, yeah. Now, then we have got in here Versafine. So again, Versafine is perfect for water markers, but not so much for alcohol markers. And also I have done the kind of smudge test. So you can see here the two pigment inks, how they drag. So they immediately, they, they have got a little bit of wetness. So they, whether the dye base ones here, immediately I smudge them and there is absolutely no smudge at all. Mm -hmm. So Memento for, for alcohol markers is perfect. With, wa uh, with water markers, what happens is it dulls a little bit, so you don't want to use it. Whether the opposite happens with the Stazon. So in terms of the, in, of the drying then, again, I'm just going back to yes, so many absolutely. shows that I see yeah. where the guest is using the Versifying Claire. So that's the oil-based um, pigment, yes. isn't it? Yep. So in terms of drying time, is that, is that a quick or is that a slow? It, it's a slow, Slower. it's a fast, a slow fast, kind of what I say. Okay. So it, basically what it is, is like it's immediately it will be wet, yeah. but after five minutes it will be dry. Okay. So there so are you some... Can you can you use can embossing emboss. onto that. Absolutely, then. yeah. That's why, because a lot of the guests obviously in, in, emboss um, an image as well. So they want, I guess for the studio as well, they want an ink that will stay wet enough for them to emboss while someone like me is asking them some silly question, which might take up a couple of minutes before they get to actually do the embossing. Um, but it's also giving you a nice crisp image at the same time, Paola. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, we have, uh, so what, what I wanted to show you, that kind of element of a kind of dry, you know, dry or wet. So shall yeah. I do, for instance, the, I'll do it with the stays on so you can see the difference. Okay, I've so got if, some questions coming through ooh, for you as good. well. So. Gird your loins, I think is the phrase. So, a stazon. Stamp in. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So that's... There is dry, immediately. Instant. Okay. And then, I'm going to do it with Versify in here. And then, look at that. Can you see the difference? Okay, Wh which was the second one there? Sorry. So that's... Uh, Versifying. Versifying, right. So, Versifying you're going to need to, to wait a little longer, yeah. and that's good, because Absolutely. then you can emboss. Boss. Perfect. Right, okay. And then if I do wait a little bit, see how... Oh, I see, right, so when you say a, a fast, fast, slow, fast, slow, or a slow, I get fast. It. 
I get it. I've got a quick question um, from Stacey, and I'm going I'm to feed. I'm going to feed questions as they come through to us. Yes. Uh, Stacey's just asked on Facebook. Um, she's just asking which um, ink pad it was that you used to print onto the. Vellum. Well, Stamp shall we show? Vellum. Shall we show? Yes. Because uh, do it, do it. you know well, you can do. It. So I have got here vellum. Uh, this one has been printed a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so the one that you would use is Brilliance. Brilliance is the one that I would go to. You can use a Saison and you can use Memento. But um, Brilliance is the one that is pigment and it will dry beautifully on, 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 on parchment. And Brilliance is water-based as it's well. It's water-based. So you can then, if you're, if you're doing that, you can also then... Alcohol markers. Colour with your alcohol markers onto the vellum and not... Have or the... wax, or what, like the polychromos, which are wax-based or, or oil-based. Ah, as well. I get it. So what you do, as, as yeah. I want to mention, um, the pads. Yes. Or, you know, the pad, for instance, for its pigment, tends to be a sponge pad. So what you need to do is very gently dab it. If you push too hard, then you would have over-inking. So dab it gently, and that's a sponge pad. The others are felt pads, which gives you a little bit firmer, and it's harder to over-ink. So what you do is you stamp in here, and you can see there that gorgeous detail. Now, this will take a few sec a few uh, couple of minutes to dry. Yeah, so you because, need to leave that. Yeah, now. you need to leave yeah. it, but it will dry naturally. As far as I know, out of the pigment water-based inks, is the only one that will dry on vellum. On vellum. The reason being is that it's a again it's a it's kind of a slow fast drawing and it gives you a lot of perm um, kind of color and opacity. Now, and can I just Yes. Oh, well, actually, you're about to, it's like I read your mind, Paola, there, because I was just about to say to you, so far in the brilliance, we've just seen the black, but on the show, there is lots and lots of colour as there well. There is. And, and Paola preempted that, either that or I read her mind. Yeah. Um, she's about to show you that, um, because, of course, on vellum, that'd be great, because stamping black onto vellum, that's fantastic, but brilliance does come in other colours as well. We've got really lovely selections um, on the show as well, yeah. some of which you get three inks in one pad, don't you? Uh, yes, absolutely. So the set that we have got, which I actually have to say I really, really love, especially if you like jelly plates, are the brilliance at uh, the set of three. Now we have got the peacock, and um, you have got, then we have got the uh, 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 twilight. Uh, you can see all three of them. So what you do, you get them, again, they are sponge pads because it's brilliant, and you have got them all blending in. To. Now, what you can do in, and it's here, I'm going to take a, just a random, oh, this one probably, that's a, that's a really good one. Uh, I, you know what, I'm just such a kind of all over the place. I get so excited, and then I realize <laughs> that I haven't brought in my um, much large uh, acrylic block, but here I have got one. So, we are going to ink it. Again, what I want is to dab gently all over it. Now, if you are, this is not an ink pad that you have to be, oh, the colors don't make. No, yeah. the colors are designed to mix and intertwine. So don't worry if you kind of contaminate a little okay, bit. Yeah. They won't penetrate completely. They will right. stay in surface. Because you're just tapping, aren't you? Absolutely. So it's going to have more effect on the stamp than Absolutely. it is the actual ink pad, I guess. Now, I should have put a little bit of a foam uh, surface at the bottom because the Just to take the impact. Yeah. yeah. But you can see that. Look at that. Look at the shimmer. Oh, so are they like a metallic finish as well? They do have got or is that, that, that brilliant... sheen on the vellum? No, no, no. That is... Is there this... mica in these then? I don't think there is mica, like... but there is absolutely there is a metallic shimmer in those three. It That's is a incredible. Because I thought that would... was just going to be like a like a matte colour, but it's actually yeah. come out funky and yeah, metallic. Yeah, no, isn't it, it has got that. And of course, this is one of the options that well, not the options. You are getting all three. Um, you have got a board over there. Could well, you show and them? also, I'll just let me just show you the the, the colours that you've got here because here are the three sets that you've got, and you get. Do we get? Do we get all three? Oh, okay. So, sorry, I'm just getting my head around this, actually, because every one of these ink pads is three colours. Um, so you are getting the, the Aurora. You're also, and it is true to the colours you can see on the, on the top there. You've got Twilight, which is, again, just so, so beautiful. You can see they're undercover there. And I love the fact that on vellum they've got that lovely sort of metallic luster to them. I think that's brilliant. And you also have the Peacock selection as well. I've got that on a board somewhere as well. Here it is. Here it is, here it is. So, that will show you clearer the colours that you've got. So, Twilight, Aurora, 
and the peacock there all giving you oh yeah look oh awesome 16.99 gets you the three triple ink pads um that's brilliant 16 pounds and 99 pence that's amazing and actually we've got some more selections of brilliance as well which are on the show as well so if you want to grab those um, you absolutely can um shop ahead of us on the web on that one Quick question from yeah. Dawn. Yeah. Um, and I, and I, we'll, we'll yeah we'll have but a look yeah. in in just a moment. Yeah. But Dawn, I mean I think, I think that she was asking about which ink you can print onto fabric. With. Right. It's it's a it, now it depends what you mean for fabric. Now if you just want to do it for mixed media, a stays on or Versafine will work really well. If you want to wash it, then what you need is Versacraft, which is the one that Pink Ink brings it. You can find it on the website. I think there is a pick and mix, and that's also manufactured by uh, Sukniko. And that's the one that you heat set and then you can wash the fabric. We don't have it on the show, that uh -huh. one, but we do. It's, it's a Masukeniko ink, so you can find it. All right. Shall we? Can I show uh, how to use the jelly plate yeah. with the brilliance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because. Um, you can do it with the colours or the black. I'm going to do actually a little bit of both. So I'm going to start with the colour first. And the reason being because um, it's, it's one of those ones that we have seen the jelly plates and you have seen them all. Actually, you can use it with a brayer, oh, or you can just color. It's, by the way, I kind of hope that um, that uh, Leone doesn't mind that I have stolen one of. I borrowed, borrowed. I just forgot to bring mine. I just kind of, fine, yeah, so, right. So you, of course, what you do is you can dab it like this with yeah. a brayer, or you can just bring it in as well directly into the uh, actual uh, jelly plate. So it's up to you how you do it. Um, now, the other thing that is great about using brilliance is because, of course, we can then use vellum and parchment. And oh, this one, I put too much pressure on my brayer. And then, of course, we clean it. But look at that. You have Wowzers. got also that luster. Can you see the luster in here? I just love. Look, so that That's now. That's so funky, isn't it? We can use it. And of course, we use these as well. Now, we can use onto parchment yeah. to jelly plate because it's going to dry on jelly plate and it's yeah. not going to be opaque like an acrylic paint. Yeah. It's going to be, um, it's going to be have the shimmer and the gorgeous elements. Now here you know, To get the effect of, and I know this is a silly analogy, but whenever I go and have a manicure, which is not at all at the moment because we can't, um, but I quite often sit in nail bars and I'm looking at rows and rows and rows of gorgeous nail varnish colours. Yes. And you never imagine to get the equivalent of that kind of look of a really, really lovely nail colour yeah. in an ink that you can use in your crafting. Absolutely. So and you've got you it here. Yeah, it's you the can. brilliance, isn't it? It is the Good brilliance. Name, actually, isn't yeah, it? it is, absolutely. Good name. So, what I'm going to do is I'm using some of stamps uh, from uh, Tim Holtz, actually. They are reverse. Uh, and then. We can then bring it in and kind of just bring it there. And of course, you can use the reverse stamps from All and Create as well. I just that kind of stencil you used before that was an All and Create. Yes, wasn't it? it is. But <laughs> look at that. So you can layer the pearlescent elements into here. Look at this. So now, you can as a backdrop for a, for a card that just needs, you know, a sentiment and a little ephemera on top lifted Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Now I'm going to grab a stencil uh, from this one. Is shall I go in? Uh, oh, shall I do an All and Create just because I. I can't. And now, of course, you can bring the Allen Create stencil here and put it on top. Now, what the other thing you can do with this inks is a stencil, and it's one of my favorite inks to stencil with. I was going to ask if you wanted just one of those three colors, how you, you achieve can. that. You can. So you Dorber. just kind of do it. And then, because it takes a little bit longer to dry, what you could do is just take it in so for instance and then just stamp onto the stamp yeah, and yeah. then just have a spot coloring as well yeah and then i kind of go in and kind of bring it in i need some daubers uh, daubers, we have got daubers them. versus blending tools Ooh. what about for you because you're an experienced inker i have got daubers i have got blending sponges and i have got brushes darling okay. you need them all okay and that's one of that's the things. Me told. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the reason being, um, it's, it's, 
level of detail. There suppose, is a it? different, like, I literally have got them all. Yeah. And I use them all. Yeah. Uh, personally, I use a lot of the brushes, but for instance, like this, when I wanted more, you know, color spot coloring, I kind of go in there. I suppose as well, it's it's what whatever sometimes is closer to hand and you fancy using. And sometimes it's about the yeah. mood you're in when you're crafting, Absolutely. isn't it? Sometimes you think, oh, I'm going to be ever so careful and delicate with this, and other times you think, Oh, blow it, I'm going for it. Bang, 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 bang with a big sponge, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. You go all the on it. You go all the on it, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> now, uh, of course, we have, I mean, I'm just smudged at all completely, but we, w the only thing I'm going to do, but here you could then uh, stamp something, but you can just see the part less nature as well of it. So you have got all those beautiful colours, and you have, then you can, because it's water-based, what else can we do? It will dissolve into water, so we can spritz the stamps so, uh -huh. see, this is why I love inks and I love this, because you can bring them. Ah, right, yes, yeah, so you can keep taking impressions off that. With water. Because third, water. fourth, fifth generation for a, from a stencil as yeah. well, which is really, really cool. Now, clever, can I say something before I forget? Yeah, go I took on. a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, one of the first things is that Brilliance and Stason will come with that cover. Yeah. Do not throw it away. Uh, they are both sort of, well, Stason is super fast drying, so therefore it's good to keep it. It will keep it uh, most and, and, and usable more long, uh, for a longer time. Oh. And the second thing. Yes, go on. I've, I've, I've just thought of a question off the back of that, but you go first. You have got reinkers for every single of the black inks that we have got on the show. Not on the show, reinkers. So basically, for instance, this that you can buy, and ah. then it's the ink. So then you just put it over it. I mean, we don't, I don't think we have it on the show, but I'm, gonna, right. I'm trying to sort out the reinkers for these ink pads. Right. So but that, it's going to be a long time before you're going to need those oh, anyway. Absolutely. I so mean, by the time by the time Pal has sorted yeah. that. <laughs> All sorted. You'll be fine by then. Um, quick question then yes. from me then. Yeah. Um, obviously we've got them all stood up in different ways here. Best way to store your ink pads? Because some people Ooh. in storage would say, shall I stack them up like books in a nice neat row? Do they have to be flat, upside down? What's the best way? Absolutely. And especially with the one day special that we have got. Yes, you know, that's, that's yeah, a yeah. Part of Well, you know, there is a, I, I use um, different methods. Mm -hmm. I like to use my ink pads for traveling, I would can, you can put them is perfectly here, so you yeah. can see, so you can have them. I like them horizontally. So label up. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and now there are certain people that you know it was this theory that if you suspend, if you put them upside down, yeah. they can travel down. Uh, in my experience, that doesn't really make sense because right. the ink is mixed in and suspended. It's yes. not it's not a liquid. It's not and coming it, from anywhere, exactly. is it? Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. not suspended into just water. Yeah. It, yeah then yeah. it would suspend it, but this yeah. is a sponge. It has been dropped in. Yeah. So there is, uh, uh, it will never settle at the bottom of it. I'm glad you mentioned deflector. Yeah. Because, of course, um, one day special. They fit so beautifully, mm. all of them. Definitely, definitely. I've got the one day special at home as well. And I know what a godsend it is. Absolutely brilliant. You've got to have it. Anyway, listen, that's the next hour. Let's go for a recap of everything that we've got in this hour then, shall we? Um, and actually, you know that board that we need in our lives, Paula? Yeah. Can I borrow? Well, can, oh, can, yes, you, can yes. you just talk me through from your board then this selection that we've got here for those people who are dipping their toe in the water and, and want a little bit of everything? Yes. So stays on is. So a stays on is uh, well, if you wanted, to, if we have it here, is a stays on is a solvent base, uh, so it's fast drying, yep. is dye based. So what it does is a stays on for non-porous acetate, plastic, glass. Also works on vellum and parchment. Also is perfect for watermarkers and over acrylic paints. Is fabulous. Fantastic. So you're getting one of those. This is like, this is like your. But they're not really trial sizes either. They're oh, just no. smaller versions of the uh, the inks. Sometimes you want a smaller ink pad for a smaller um, stamp that yep. you've got. Then we've got the Memento. Uh, Memento is the best one for alcohol markers. It's a dye base. I'm not going to show you again here. Memento is a permanent a dye base, water base. So what it means is, of course, it's perfect for anything that is solvent or oil. For me, it's my go-to when I just want to color with alcohol markers. Okay. And the next one is the Versafine. Versafine, again, I'm going to put this, is the Versafine is a pigment 
an oil base, which uh -huh. means that it's perfect for water-based markers, but also, so you can see it here, but also is brilliant if you want to emboss it. So for instance, if you have got, a lot of people want, don't like black embossing powder because yes. it leaves flitters. Yeah. So what they do is a stamp with versifying clear, then put on top of it clear embossing powder and you have got and you have got I think a sample on the other pile in which in that one that one pile uh, I think is the bot that one this that one. one yes yeah. that one so you can see the embossing the, the embossing gloss but that's black Oops, versus sorry. fine <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Can you see it? And then yeah. embossing powder. So that will give ah, that really sharp black. Right. Okay. I get it. And the last one in this selection is the Versamar. So Versamar, you have got a few samples in the in this pile. Mm -hmm. You is the perfect one to create water base watermarks. Then you have got here, for instance, this. If you put it onto a smooth white card and then you use chalks over it, it gives you that kind of. Ah. really pigments as well you can use them with mica powders as well so it creates like a softer version of an embossing powder watermark that is a watermark you can see there uh -huh. onto different colors just one stamp and you can see how it gives that shadow of the the color so that's lot, underneath it's it. a lot more subtle yes it is fantastic right so 9.99 gets you those if you've always it is, it's like everything you wanted to know about ink but we're afraid to ask in one selection for under £10, which is bonkers. 058739 is the item number. Um, that's been very, very busy already. I am not surprised at all. But most of you are going for this bundle here, which is the larger version of the Brilliance, the Versifying Claire, the Stays On, and the Memento. Sorry, Meg, where are we stock-wise? Okay, approaching a third of the stock of that has sold out and gone. You are getting all four. See, the, the, the thing that blows my mind with this is that the, you are getting all four because quite often um, you think, right, okay, well, it's got to be one of those or maybe that's a pick a mix of two for that price. Uh, no, it is all four. And these are the full size um, ink pads as well, as you can see. Um, they are brilliant. How many times have you watched a demonstration from whoever, whichever company um, here at Hojanda, when someone's stamping, quite often they will go for that versatile... Uh, versifying Claire, won't they, every single time. £17.99, it's very, very busy on that one as well. Then we have your stays on pigments, uh, which are brilliant, and uh, as, the, as it's, the name says on the tin, it's about colour that stays on. It's about pigment ink that is good and rich and juicy and, and penetrating and giving you that strength of colour. It's absolutely beautiful. So, again, these are solvent based as well. So does that mean that I can, I can go down on a stencil um, with a pigment ink pad like this and then go over with watercolours on top of that and created like a wash background on top of the strength yes. of that stencil. You could do that very... Uh you got it. It's like sweet and sour you, then, isn't I mean, it? I mean, you have taken it, to, but also what I love about it, you, you just take it. You've got to have, you've so got to have some ideas you. as well, haven't you? I'm so proud. Um, it's amazing. Very, very popular right the way through the show. Twenty one ninety nine. Again, you're getting all four of the colours there. You're getting lemon drop, you're getting peacock feathers, shamrock green and passion red. We all need a bit of passion red, don't we, for February. Uh, right, let's move on to the brilliance now. This is where it's like, it's like, actually, it's like nine ink pads in one, really, this one. Um, so this is the brilliance that ends up, this is the one that you can go on to vellum with, and it has that wonderful metallic sheen when you've taken it on to vellum. It's incredible. And what's this powder that you've put it onto? Is this, is this, what's, what's? what's... So that's shrink plastic. Oh, so okay. basically what I wanted to show, I mean, it's, I know, but I just, uh, I kind of like the, how it turned out. Like it. Yeah, I like it. Uh, but can you see, if you look on it really ring. close, uh, yeah, it could be a key ring. Uh, it's actually a jelly pr print. So now ah. you can take jelly prints and hopefully I'll do that at 10 o'clock with Adam. Can okay. you see that there is some writing and some kind of elements? It's tiniest of writing. If you held it there, you can see it. Yeah, can you see oh, it? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Because yes. I did exactly the same technique as I did and there is a little bit of an stencil ever there, just gentle. Oh, wow. Because now you can do pull jelly prints with a string plastic and then it will dry on it because